Hey, and welcome to day five. Today, we have a hit Pilates routine. So we're firing things up a little bit and we're gonna do kind of like a little circuit section. So the way I've planned it is we do 10 exercises. Some of them are repeated because we're gonna do left and right. And in between each one, we'll have a minute break. We'll do a minute of the exercise and then we'll do a minute break where you get the option, giving you the option, to either do a cat and cow, just breathe and move, or hold a plank for a minute. So you get a little bit of abdominal work, a little bit of core work in there as well. So you can see how you're feeling. Maybe you want to sometimes take the plank. Maybe you want to take the cat and cow. Maybe you just want to sit in child's pose during that rest. And then we'll come back to the next sort of hit exercise. So even though it's hit, it is all on the floor. There's no jumping around. There's a little bit of plank jacks, um, but you can always take a modified version as well. And we're going to keep that Pilates mind for the whole time. So let's get started. So we're just going to do a little warm up and then we'll get into it. Um, so I just want you to start with your feet nice and wide. You're going to reach your arms up, breathing in, breathing out and open them out. Good. So just open up through the shoulders and the chest. And we're coming into some nice kind of heart raising, heartbeat raising exercises. And we are doing so well, we're on day five. So we're really varying things up and making sure that you're having these lovely challenges every day and this time on your mat. Good. And then we're gonna go into that little rotation that we did in our energizing routine. We're just going to open across the body here. Now I'm really hoping I'm gonna be able to keep my time in. I've got a little timer on my side here, so I will keep an eye on it. Um, but just breathe. You can always set up your own little timer at home if that helps, but I want you to do a minute of whatever exercise we're gonna do, okay? Okay, so let's come to the center and let's get going. So we're gonna start with a squat um, into a side leg raise. So just come into your feet underneath your hips finding that ground in. So we're going for a minute here. So we're going to come into that squat and then we're going to press that leg to the side and we're gonna do the same leg. So I'm doing my right leg out to the side and I'm gonna keep with my right leg and I'm gonna come into that squat every time. So we've practiced some squats already. We're keeping that lovely neutral spine, remember. So you're squatting and to the side. So you've got about 30 seconds left. Kicking that leg out, keeping it parallel. Try not to lean over the other way. Remember, we want to stay lifted and upright. But if you do fall wobble a little bit, that's fine. Just come back into it. And I want you to breathe in as you go down. Breathe out as that leg goes to the side. Got about 10 more seconds. And then we're going to come into our first plank. Let's do one more. Good job. And relax, good. So come down onto your mat and either take a nice cat and cow as we take this little breather or you're gonna come into your plank position. So stepping back and we're holding here. Drawing the shoulders down, lengthening through the spine. So whatever you're choosing, you could always do a rest position at any point if you feel like you wanna have a little rest or you're holding that plank if you can and you're pushing those heels away, drawing those shoulders down, shining your chest forwards, pulling in and up through these abdominals, breathing into the sides of your ribs. Got about 30 seconds left. So maybe you're choosing to do your little extension and your rounding. I'm probably gonna choose that option sometimes as well because I'm gonna be Talking a bit more. <laughs> Good, so let's just do a couple more. And then we're gonna come to that squat and then the side kick on the other side. Good, so let's just make our way back up to standing. Coming all the way in and then back into that squat and this time the other leg goes out. So we squat and we lift. Left leg for me, make sure you're doing the other leg. Try not to lean over the other way. Get into that lovely squat with those knees tracking over your toes, but you're sitting back into a chair, 
drawing your abdominals in, warming up through those hips. I leaned over a bit too much there, so just checking in there. Well done, you're pressing back through those heels. Got about 20 seconds here. Doing really well. And even though there's planks in the breaks, there's also planks coming up in the more high intensity parts of the routine as well. So we are surely going to be working our core. Last one, and then back down for a little minute rest or a minute plank. So maybe your cat and cow, maybe your rest position, and you're just breathing and moving. Good, so maybe you've chosen to take that plank again and drawing those shoulders down. You could always even come into a low plank if you wanna have a little break off those arms. Well, this works your arms, but more off your wrists if you feel a little bit more comfortable in that low plank. I'm gonna try and breathe it here with you. You're doing so well, you're gonna push those heels away. Just allowing that breath to resettle. Drawing in through those abdominals. Just gently tucking the pelvis under. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring those knees in. So the next exercise we're doing is we're gonna do a little elbow to knee, a little mountain climber, but kind of like the Spider-Man one where we bring the knee around to the elbow. So drawing your shoulders down, you can always modify by just being on your knees here and taking the knee to the elbow, or you're gonna come into that full plank and you're going knee to elbow, keeping the length through the waist, stepping that leg back, keeping that breath as you change sides. Doing really good. Bringing that knee around, working into that waist. Good, keep going for me. Try not to knock your arm off. Keeping that strength through your upper body. Got about 10 seconds, guys, you're doing really well. Oh, I can feel my sides really working, my upper body really working. Good, keep breathing, we're nearly there. You've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Good, so this is one where you definitely might wanna take your cat and cow. Or again, just sit back, have the breather in that rest position. Just take what you need. The next two minutes of the, of the exercises we're gonna be doing is a little side plank with a leg raise. So we'll be on our elbow and we'll be raising one leg up and down. So you can always keep the underneath knee bent on the mat, lift up. This leg's gonna be lifting or you can be in your full side plank when we come into it, okay? So we've got about 20 seconds left, just breathing. Maybe you're holding that plank. Good going if you are, but whatever you choose today. We have got a few more high intensity routines throughout the rest of the 24 days where we do get a little bit more, they do get a little bit more challenging, what I've planned coming up. So this is like your little taster into it. Okay, so we're going into that side plank with the leg raise. So coming up, you can always keep the underneath knee down and we're lifting and lowering here. So if you're doing that full plank version, step that leg out, the underneath leg out, you're on that side. You're lifting that leg up and down, a little side leg raise, just like we did with the squat, but now on the side, and you're in a side plank, so slightly more challenging maybe. Good, and you're gonna see if you can keep it there for me. I'm just gonna keep an eye on our time so we don't need too long. Good, and just try not to drop into that shoulder. Remember, we wanna keep that lift from that underneath shoulder from our arm work, we really practice that shoulder connection. So bringing it in, trying to really thread, even though every, all the exercises are very varied, a lot of the principles and the foundations are the same. So just trying to not forget about things that we work on. Last one there. Oh, I can feel that underneath hip and come back. Good, so again, maybe taking a plank this time and holding for a minute before we do the other side. Or you can always rest. So you're taking the moments to rest is gonna really re-energize us for the next little bit. You can always sit back in your child's pose. So remember we do the same thing on the other side. 
the leg raises. Okay. So you're breathing. Doing really, really well. Resting down. Maybe you want to take that. I've got a lot of hair on me. Brushed my ponytail, so I've got some bits of hair. <laughs> so just cat and cow. I don't know why I'm telling that. Just trying to breathe and reconnect. Okay, so we're coming onto the other side now, guys. So we're coming onto that elbow. Make sure you definitely do the other side or you'll get a bit too in balance, so you're lifting, and then we're lifting that leg up and down. Remember, you can keep the underneath knee bent or bringing your legs out into that full side plank, finding that lift, and we lift and lower, growing out through the crown of that head. Good, pressing through that heel. Really tough exercise. We're really bringing the whole body into it. Your underneath hips squeezing to lift up, waist is lower abs, Back needs to be supported, shoulder stabilizers, tricep, and then this top hip having to work as well. There's so much. It's super challenging when that leg goes away from the body. Everything's got to work even harder. Got about 20 seconds, you can do it. Good, keep going, find that length, finding that focus. Keep that leg nice and parallel, if you can. You're doing so good, guys, keep going. Last five, four, three, two and one and relax down good okay so give your hips a little rub let's take a plank maybe you want to come onto those elbows and take that plank for this little break this little minute you can always come into that full plank good so we're back working the thighs and legs in standing for the next three Okay, maybe take the little cat and cow. So the next exercise we're gonna be doing is just a nice squat hold. So we're gonna be in a squat. We're gonna be holding it, basically, for a minute. So let's just take these little cat and cows, releasing that spine. Maybe you're still in your plank. Maybe you're having your rest. But I want you to just start to come back up to standing now. And we're gonna hold a squat. So a little bit of isometric, a little bit of static hold, but we're gonna keep that energy. So when you're ready, you're gonna find that length through your spine and you're gonna come into your squat. Imagine you're squeezing a little ball between, you could even get a cushion, which is quite good. If you get a cushion and squeeze it between your thighs and you're holding here. Okay, so we're just gonna hold, but we're gonna keep the breath, keep the length, keep those ribs in, try not to, Press them out, rolling those shoulders back and down, maybe going a little bit lower. I know this is tough. You're breathing, holding. Remember, we've got another plank coming up. This is really good work today, guys. Stay with me, you're gonna feel so good, so worked from top to toe after this routine. Five, four, three, two, one, and stand. Well done, back into your plank. Here we go. So if you have done a plank for this whole time, you would have done 10 minutes. Um, I think about 10 minutes with a plank, which is pretty amazing, isn't it? <laughs> so if you have done that, then well done. You could always do a half plank, or you could come onto your elbows, or well, remember, I've always said you can have that option of doing your cat and extension. Now the next two are gonna be a little lunge. And we're gonna be coming into a little leg extension back. So we did our leg extensions back on day one from a squat, but we're gonna do it from a lunge, okay? So we're rounding. So we're going to come up, down, come into our lunge with a little kick back. So I want you to find a big step forwards into your lunge position. And we're going to lunge down. So the back knee is going to bend. And then we're going to do a little kick back, arms and leg, kick back. Back into the lunge, arms and legs, kick back. So a minute on this leg, then we'll have a break. Then we'll do the other leg. Okay, going down. 
Kicking back. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. A little bit of balance. This is one of my favorite exercises. I don't know why, I don't do it enough, but I really like it. Got about 30 seconds. I feel like it's just so, you can just feel those connections through your glutes, getting that nice extension in that back leg, getting that lunge, finding that balance. Oh, keeping that focus. I don't know if it's your favorite, but I think it's one of mine. Last 10 seconds. <laughs> it can be really hard to balance. You could always hold on to something, guys, if you're finding it really hard to balance. You could always practice by just holding something. So let's come down. And we're gonna, oh, I can really feel that side. So let's just take a little break. That little minute of just reset and rest. Maybe we're coming into plank. Breathe. I'm gonna be nice and calm this time. We're spreading those fingers, we're pushing that mat away. We're doing so well. So once we've done this lunge on this side, we've then only got two more exercises. So you've You've got through it, this heart raising, breathing, controlling. As we move through these exercises with that breath. Okay, we're coming back. So this time stand up again. We're gonna step the other leg forwards. So coming into that lunge, coming down, and then we're going back into that extension Finding that balance. So you do tip forwards, you don't have to stay upright. My arms are gonna reach back, back leg reaches away, and I stand on that front leg. But I wanna make sure I'm coming back into that lunge every time, and you're not kind of narrow. You wanna go right back into that lunge every time. Good, and one side might feel easier to balance than the other side. I feel like this side for me is a little bit more wobbly. So just keeping that focus. Try not to rush. Where am I? I'm here. <laughs> About 10 more seconds. Squeeze those glutes, get that control as you come into that lunge again. Five, four, three, two, and one. Well done, step it back. Shake those legs out because we've got that squat hold again. So coming into your Rest pose or your plank, just taking your cat and cow, and then we've got that squat. And then we've just got a last little plank jack to finish off, which involves a little bit of jumping, but you don't have to. You can just do stepping of your legs. I feel like we've definitely had a good workout no matter what. Good, I'm gonna maybe take a little elbow plank for the last 20 seconds here. So maybe join me if you can, last 20 seconds, and then we're coming into that squat hold again. Ten, nine, eight, strong legs, seven, six, long neck, five, four, three, two, one, good. Okay, straight back up, and we've got one minute. Squat, hold again, long spine. We are gonna feel those thighs. Draw those ribs back, tailbone down. Long neck, shoulders away from the ears. Good, and breathe. Well done, you're doing so well. You're pressing back into those heels. So make sure you do let me know how you're getting on with the challenge throughout. I really would love to hear from you. See where you're at with it. Last 10, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're standing tall, okay. We've got plank jacks, we do have a little rest. So let's just breathe. We're gonna get ready for those plank jacks. So as you're resting, maybe you're doing cat and cow, maybe you're in your plank. I'm getting very hot. <laughs> 
um, I'm going to show you the plank jack. So we're in our plank position and this is, will be our last exercise. So the option is, and I only want you to jump to about the width of the mat, not too wide. So it's a little hop, just keeping the knees soft. Okay, that's your little plank jack. We need to keep the bottom nice and low. And if you want a modification, then you're gonna just step your foot to the side rather than jump it, okay? So you've got about 15 more seconds. Maybe you wanna take a little bit of water in this class as well, whenever. I think I said that because I feel like I need some. <laughs> okay, here we go. In 10 seconds, we're gonna go for one minute plank jacks. Okay, guys, we can do it. Okay, ready? Stepping into that plank and here we go. One minute here. If you can, let's hope that my mic's not making weird sounds. <laughs> Jumping in and out. So remember, modification, you can do the steps. Do, 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 you're breathing. You're keeping your hips stable. You don't want those hips wobbling up and around. Doing so well. It's quite a long time. So you just breathe with it. Keep that stamina. Arms probably hurt aching a little bit from all those planks and the arm routine as well. We're really working you. You've got about 20 seconds. You can just do those steps. Whatever you feel is right for you. Today, last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Whew, good job. So sit back in your rest pose, your child's pose. Have a breather, reach those arms forwards. And then when you're ready, just come into some little shoulder rolls. We'll just cool it down a little bit. Good. I hope you're feeling good, guys. I, that was a really challenging little circuit there. I think that I underestimated those plank breaks. <laughs> so tomorrow, you're gonna unwind a little bit. So you've got that to look forward to. So let's just take those lovely arm stretches again. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, reach down, grow door. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, lift out. Good, inhale. And exhale. Lovely, and then let's just stand up. And I want us to just take a little balance, a little stretch for the thigh. So just see if you can hold on to the ankle. Maybe you want to hold on to the wall or something. And we're just going to do a little quad stretch. Just bend the standing knee. We did those lunges and those two minutes of squat holds. So keep pressing those hips forwards. And then release that foot down. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm not sure if you're thanking me, but <laughs> we did well. And then I will see you tomorrow as well for day six. Standing up when you're ready. And release that foot down. Thanks guys, well done, amazing class. I will see you again soon.